engine mounting. Dismount the engine from the engine jig. Support the engine and mount it on the motorcycle frame by first installing the rear engine mounting bolts. Ensure to have a helper to perform this job. Now mount the engine hanger plate and install the front engine mounting bolts. Install and tighten the rear engine mounting nuts to the specified torque. Rear engine mounting nuts torque value is 5.4 kg meter. Finally, torque the front engine mounting nuts. Remove the dipstick while tightening the front upper nut. Front engine mounting nuts torque value is 2.6 kg meter. Install the dipstick. If required, loosen the drive chain and then mount the drive sprocket along with the drive chain on the counter shaft. Now install the fixing plate as shown and tighten the drive sprocket bolts. Drive sprocket bolt torque value is 1.2 kg meter. Install the gear change pedal. Now install the left crankcase rear cover. Connect ACG and neutral switch wire connectors. Route the ACG wire harness and neutral switch wire. Ensure the ACG wire harness and neutral switch wire are clamped on the frame above the left crankcase rear cover 
and then secure them inside the connector cover with the binder. Connect the crankcase breather tube. While connecting a tube of any assembly, always ensure the tube is inserted till the end of the nozzle and the clip is located behind the projection near the tip of the nozzle. Connect the engine earth cable to the cylinder head. Connect the ASV vacuum tube to the carburetor insulator. Connect the air feed pipe to the ASV hose. Install a new O-ring and connect the air feed pipe to cylinder head cover. Install the kick stopper arm. Connect the by starter cable to the carburetor. Install the carburetor to the insulator and then air cleaner connecting tube. Tighten the insulator and air cleaner connecting tube band screws. Connect the carburetor air vent. Ensure the air vent tube is routed properly through the guide on the air cleaner connecting tube and the clamp on the frame. Be sure the air vent tube is not kinked or blocked at any location. Now first connect the throttle position 3 pin connector and then route the wire through the binder on the carburetor. Connect the throttle cable to the stay. Adjust throttle free play and tighten the lock nut. Install the throttle cable cover. Connect the carburetor overflow tube. Connect the starter motor positive terminal cable. Be careful not to rotate the starter motor terminal bolt. Always hold the lock nut and tighten the terminal nut. Connect the noise suppressor cap to the spark plug. 
Now, route the clutch cable through the clutch receiver. Connect the clutch cable to the clutch lever in the right crankcase cover. Adjust the free play and tighten the lock nut. Install the kick lever. Install the muffler with a new gasket. Now, first mount the exhaust muffler on the rear step and install the bolt and nut. Locate the bracket to the studs and tighten the nuts. Always ensure the muffler bolts on the cylinder head are tightened first to avoid any damage to the studs. Finally, tighten the exhaust muffler bolt on the rear step. Install the leg guard with the engine hanger plate bolt. U-bolt and the nuts. First, tighten the U-bolt nuts. Now install and tighten the engine hanger plate nut to the specified torque. Leg guard engine hanger plate nut torque value is 2.6 kg meter. Apply small quantity of multi-purpose grease on the fuel tank cushion. Align the fuel tank with the fuel tank cushion on the frame assembly and slide the tank towards the front. Now slightly lift the tank and connect the fuel tank breather, drain tube and fuel unit wire connector. Seat the fuel tank and install the collar in the fuel tank rear cushion. Now install the washer and tighten the fuel tank bolt. Connect battery negative cable to the terminal and install the terminal. Ensure that the battery negative cable is routed through the guide on the frame. Install the right side cover.
Connect the fuel tube to the fuel cock. Install the left side cover. Install and lock the seat. Fill up the specified quantity of engine oil with the vehicle in upright condition on the main stand. Recommended engine oil is 10W30SJ JSO MA grade and the quantity is 1.2 liters. Check the oil level with the dipstick and ensure the level is still the upper mark. Start the engine and check for oil circulation by slightly loosening the check bolt in the cylinder head cover. Always start the engine in a well ventilated area or using an exhaust duct. Finally, perform a test ride and check the performance.